Greetings folks, I'm getting into part two of the build of the Resilience RES model from Flug Model Bau. There's the first part, the centre section of the wing, which is probably the most complicated and uh, uh, biggest part of the build. I'm saying that now, uh, but I haven't built the rest of it yet, but uh, I'm pretty happy with the build of that. There's the spoilers, that's how they pop up like that and then pop back in, magnet holding them in. Uh, I'll glue the servos in underneath eventually, but I'm putting that aside for the moment. Uh, and now we're going to get into the uh, intermediate sections of the wing and the tips of the wing. So there's two of them on each side, so four sections in all. And we're going to build it on the plan, on the table, uh, like I did before. I just thought I'd show you how the, uh, plan, the instruction manuals work. There's a parts list here uh, that has like sheet one, uh, small parts two, all these sorts of things down the side that tell you where to find the uh, the piece that they're talking about, uh, the material it's made of, and the sheet or the bag that it's in. For example, this is a small parts two bag. Uh, so if you're looking for some tiny little thing like the um, spar reinforcement, the anti-twist spar reinforcement, then uh, it tells you it's in small bag two, and there it is there. And everything's labelled except for the tiny, tiny little things. And then you'll get this sort of uh, piece of paper in the bag that uh, shows you what it actually is. So let's go through some of the build photos, uh, the progress photos. All the wing sections are kind of built the same way. And you start off by tapering down just the trailing edge of this ply trailing edge structure, I guess, just... Uh, the last five millimeters down to about 0.6 millimeters, I think. Then the next step is to glue the bottom spar cap. This is the pine spar cap to the sheeting ply. Then lay it down on the board and slot in all the ribs. And there's the, the shear web, I think it's called. And you'll note that it doesn't go all the way to the outer end of the intermediate wing panel. There's a gap there and there's a, an angled ply joiner that joins the that slots in here and joins the tip at the right angle uh, the outer and inner ribs are set at an angle with these lovely little jigs then we glue the top spar cap in and cut off the aluminium tube and fit it into the holes there for the wing joiner and uh, that's held in place with epoxy then we slice off most of the excess uh, bottom sheeting ready to put the top sheeting on and that goes from this notch here all the way down to the front. Actually what we do first is, is put some uh, masking tape on the front of the ribs there so we can sand down this leading edge uh, member here so that it conforms with the airfoil. Then you can glue on the top sheeting. Then you glue on the main leading edge and uh, sand that down like I showed in the previous video but that's all coming together. There's a little bit of bracing in there as well. And same for the tip, same procedure. And you can see we've now glued on the uh, tip pieces and then we sand them down nice and smooth. Uh, it's up to you how you shape that, but uh, you can sort of get this outer profile from the plan and then just uh, taper it down to a nice edge. This is checking the fit between the center panel and the intermediate panel and these uh, little pins and holes they're very precise, so there's one there, there's one there, and there's the main spar tube there. Uh, so I did need to ream out this hole a little bit to make it uh, close up nice and uh, nice and flush. And this is the tip and that uh, angled plywood uh, joiner that I was talking about before slots in there, so you need to cut out that little bit of balsa there. These uh, tip ribs are very, very fine and uh, delicate and it's easy to break this little joiner here you just have to deal with that as you can uh, so yeah you cut out this slot here so the ply joiner will fit in uh, there's the ply joiner going through there that's the wing glued onto the uh, intermediate panel now fitting quite nicely and the two sides lying flat on the building board uh, meet in the middle so that looks nice and accurate which is great and here's the wing dry fitted together, looking fantastic. That's uh, two meters or just under two meters. Center section there, intermediate section and the tip sections. 
So this is all looking good and uh, we're making good progress. Now onto the tail surfaces, which are pretty quick and easy because they're just built flat on the board. Vertical stabiliser, there's a, a plywood reinforcing plate on the top and the bottom there. And there were holes uh, for the carbon fibre rods going all the way through there. So you have to make sure that they stay lined up. Then the big job of tapering down the rudder and the elevator. Uh, and that goes from whatever it is, five millimetres down. You've got to taper it down to about one and a half, two millimetres. So there's quite a lot of delicate sanding to do. So you just sit down and work away slowly. Make sure you're keeping it nice and even. Taper it down to a reasonable fine edge. And same with the elevator as well, which is probably even more delicate. But they are all now ready to be covered. Now we're onto the fuselage and we have this sort of ply skeleton that uh, gets laid on top of the, the uh, balsa sides and there's a, a balsa cap and a, a ply strong sort of reinforcing cap there. Gluing the wing mounting bolts into their supports uh, with epoxy and of course making sure that none of the glue gets into the thread. There's the two fuselage sides together. I haven't mucked around with the servos yet, which probably would be a good idea to do that before you put this together. It's going to be a bit tight getting them in there, but I'm sure I'll be able to do it. Now here's the tail boom. You cut that to two, uh, what is it, 685 millimetres, I think. And then there's this wonderful drilling jig uh, to drill holes for the mounting the horizontal stabiliser and the vertical stabiliser. So those holes give you exactly the right spot to drill them. And that gets taped onto the boom in the right position. Then you'll need a, a, a drill press to, to drill nice vertical holes straight through there. So looking at servos, I decided to use these lovely little MKS HV70s. They're small and powerful and uh, more importantly, they fit in the, the uh, very narrow space. These ones have the vertical tabs, vertical mounting tabs. Uh, I just happen to have them. Ideally, you would use them with uh, the horizontal mounting tabs, but I just had to print up a, a sort of an adapter mount, which works perfectly well. Now we're working on the tail boom. Here you can see the two millimeter carbon fiber rods that have been glued into those holes that we drilled before uh, for mounting the horizontal and vertical stabilizer. And also milling out slots for the push rods to come through using a Dremel. And here's a little pedestal to mount the horizontal stabilizer on. And that is uh, balsa and plywood uh, with some retained nuts in there to bolt into. Now we're fitting the tail boom into the fuselage. Uh, and these are the sort of the fuselage fairing blocks that get sanded down later on. But we fit the tail boom into the mounts there and then mount the wing and the horizontal stabilizer and the vertical stabilizer just to make sure that they're all level and square uh, and sort of rotate the uh, tail boom until they are totally level. Very satisfying job that one. Fixed with a bit of CA glue and then later on uh, reinforced with some epoxy. There's all the pieces for the nose cone being glued together and the high start hook assembly that's uh, adjustable backwards and forwards. You can see the retained nut in there as well. And nose cone being glued on there and I'll shape that down later on. And there it is looking like a glider. Uh, this will be a good spot to finish this video and I'll uh, continue on covering the wings and fairing down the fuselage and installing the servos and push rods and all of that good stuff and uh, then it'll be ready for a flight so that'll be in the next video uh, so still going very nicely really enjoying the build really nice quality kit so thanks for watching and see you in the next video